Okay, so here we go, taking a look at uh, chapter two, so a little introduction to C++. Uh, and in this video, we're only going to look at the first section, because there's quite a lot in the first section. So if we jump down here real quick, uh, the parts of a C++ program, all right? So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, and in fact, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, all right? So we're going to start out with this uh, block of code. So we have this little program in here. So here's a little sample program. And, uh, and we'll talk about each one of these lines, uh, and then we'll look at live code in a second here. Uh, before, kind of before we get started, though, uh, you should have by now definitely watched the uh, first video on pythontutor.com. Uh, this is this uh, this link uh, takes us right to the C++ visualizer that Philip created. Again, thank you to Philip for creating an amazing uh, visualization tool for uh, coding. You guys will love this, uh, especially as we get into more complex uh, things. It's just it's just awesome to see the code working so you get to go line by line it's awesome so anyway i won't talk about that again i know we already did this so uh let's go ahead and look at each line of this uh, particular program all right so in our first line that we have here and i'm going to stay on this before i go to live code just so you can kind of see things with me uh but on this first little section in here you have two forward slashes this is the top of the program and then you can see on your sample c plus plus program this is a simple comment so anything that you put a forward slash forward slash uh and then anything you type after that the compiler will ignore so you can type anything you want here. So typically at the top of the program, you would see this and you might see a line like this. And then you might see like your name and then another line, same thing. And you might see like the name of your program. Uh, I might ask you to put in, in there uh, how long it took you to, to code a particular program. So you'd put, you know, however many uh, minutes in there, uh, whatever it might be. Uh, so different things. So I'll have different things that I'll ask you for uh, at times with that. Uh, for now, it's just a simple comment. And we're going to look, uh, this is a multi-line comment where it goes, uh, one forward slash and then an asterisk asterisk i hate that word so i'll say star most times uh, that's one of those words that just gets me so i'm just gonna just gonna say star so anyway so we have uh slash star and then uh you know shift eight or if you have a numbers keypad it's on there too uh but when we come over here and then they close it out just the opposite so start with star and then a forward slash and that will get you a multi-line thing so we'll look at that in a few minutes uh, when we actually get to live code and i'll show you how that works and uh, talk about that all right this next line on here this is our header, and uh, the way that this is set up, this is, uh, oof, depending on your age, I guess, uh, or, I don't know, experience with messing around online, uh, social media, whatever, uh, pound sign, number sign, you may say hashtag, however, whatever you want to say. Uh, I'll say probably number sign more often than, than pound sign or hashtag, but I'll try and mix it up a little bit. But anyway, so we have this here, and we're using include. We're using, you can see on here, um, the, the uh, less than sign, and then we have the greater than sign here. So brackets that, that, that we're going to use here. You use these a lot in C++. So I'll get to those in a second when we come down here. Um, but then we're saying, hey, we want to include uh, IOStream. And what this does is this is, as I said, it's kind of setting up your uh, your program here. And so we're saying, hey, um, I want to use the input output stream. And uh, so what that does is it says, okay, see, as I look down in the code, I'm going to use an output. So this is an output. So if you don't include this line, then this does not work. So um, you have to include this. So virtually everything that we're going to do will include this particular header line. And we'll get more into these details with each one of these things as we get going. So again, this is just an overview. I don't want this video to be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. I mean, we could spend a lot of time talking about different ones, how they work, all this kind of stuff. We'll get into that as we get going into the book. All right, so as the semester progresses. All right, so our next line real quick, uh, using namespace standard. And so in this particular one, oh, STD, that just stands for standard. So we're saying, hey, we want to use um, the just standard namespace. I mean, that's it, right? So um, this is just uh, making certain things active so that words that we're using, the way that things are named, all these all these kinds of things that it understands what we're trying to do, okay? And then we're going to come down. Now, most, most of our programs will start exactly like this. We'll have this kind of stuff. Um, the, you know, the using MC standard, and then we'll come down here. Oh, incidentally, if you're looking at code online, uh, if you're going to Stack Overflow or something, then you may see code that doesn't use namespace standard, or they code it differently, where you'll see this uh, listed before the, the each statement. Um, there's just, there are different ways of doing things. So just remember that as we go along. Uh, our author likes to use this style uh, and this this way of doing things. I, I, I like it too. I think it works great. We're we're just fine using it. So, but you'll you will see different styles of doing things. You'll find even as we get going into the you know first chapter and you're coding things out. Uh, if I if I get 30 
programs from you all. I may have 30 completely different, uh, you know, blocks of code that the way you've done it is different. Um, and so we'll talk about that kind of stuff too and um, standards and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff later. But for now, anyway, so we've got this piece in here. We're going to go ahead and go on. Let's go ahead and look at this line right here. So um, int, which is short for integer. So we're declaring this uh, function as an integer function. We're going to say it's, it's called main. Um, our parentheses are empty right now but that's okay we'll uh we'll talk about these later when we get to the functions chapter um there's a lot of different things that we're doing for now we use the main function for everything for all of our programs uh and you can see once i get down past this line i come down here i've got an open curly brace and then at the end of this block i have a closed curly brace okay so you have to make sure this is our beginning block this is the end of our block um they go together um we'll talk about tab spacing uh you know naming conventions for, for things or for variables or whatever. We'll talk a lot about that as we get into this too. So for now, uh, we're separating this out. You can see the spacing here. So we're two spaces tab, uh, whatever you might want to do here to space this out and show that this is inside this curly brace. This whole block makes it easier to follow. And uh, when we get to, uh, you know, if even just a couple chapters in, you'll find that it does make it a lot easier to see how the code is functioning and uh, where an error might be, what's going on, that kind of stuff. So anyway, so braces, really, really important. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and look at this. Now this is, for us, as we look at this code, this is our, our main output statement. And we're as we look at this, you can see uh, we have quotes right here. And then inside the quotes uh, are something that I, th I think in the book you'll see. Uh, sometimes you, you'll see it listed as a string literal or, or a string constant. We'll just pretty much call these strings throughout the chapter. But what you can almost write anything you want in here. There are, there are actually quite a lot of, uh, of exceptions. But uh, we'll see a few exceptions to this chapter and then as we get going along. But for the most part, you're writing statements in here that are going to print uh, on the screen. Uh, for what we're doing and uh, and so whatever's in the quotes will print so like this exclamation point on the inside it will print okay the semicolon at the end not going to print it's outside this particular quote right the statement that you see over here the beginning this first word that we're using in the statement uh, c out is how you pronounce that uh, so console out is what it's short for so from back in the day when you just had uh, you know the console and you had your little keyboard and and that's how you that's how you roll but you have c out that i almost see c in where it's c i n and we'll see that as input but for now we're outputting this and we are uh, you'll see this little um less than sign less than less than so those go together there's two of them we'll, we'll talk a lot about these but uh you'll see this for output and then it, the other way for input uh, and so just really quickly, um, I, I'll mention this, we're talking about inputs later on, but uh, the way that I remember which signs to use, and I don't know, it's just my thing, I, I, maybe I'm weird, I don't know, but uh, the way that I remember it is um, I use less than less than here because if I'm outputting something, I think like, oh, okay, I'm like shouting this out, so I look at this like a bullhorn. <laughs> I don't know, it may be weird, but that's the way that I remember it. So output, boom, I'm like shouting this out, and uh, and then this is what I'm gonna be shouting out. So I look at these as like little miniature bullhorns, and I don't know, it's just my thing. So uh, anyway, so there's that piece in there, and then the, we've got the semicolon at the end. The last piece that we're looking at in this is uh, the return zero and this has to do with the function and our main function and the integer that we're looking at here and what we're returning and we're saying hey we're returning we're actually returning is zero here meaning we've got nothing else and that will be the end of the program okay so again we get more into functions later on for now I mean I hate to say it but you just do it this way just because uh, that's the way it's done. That's what you need to do. And uh, we'll get more into each one of these statements and how they work and how all this stuff works together as we get going throughout the semester. All right, so um, let's take a look just really quickly at the live code and how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the, the visualizer link. I highly encourage you to uh, open the PowerPoints and follow along as we're doing these because uh, I do have active links in them. So uh, as we get to you know, certain types of code and sort of, you know, certain statements and how things work. Uh, I try and include a lot of links so that you can have active code to play with so that you don't have to type out every single little thing. Um, you'll do a lot of that. Trust me, you'll do your own, your own coding and we'll do a lot of that as well, especially, you know, when we get to the assignments and those kinds of things. But uh, for now, as we're playing with things throughout the chapter, I like you to have a base that you can just click and play around with and change things and all that. So, and we'll talk more about that as we do things. All right. So um, taking a look at this particular 
particular uh, program. So here we have our sample code. I wanted to do the comment piece real quick because I was telling you. Uh, so here we have slash slash. So you might have, you know, you might have the that piece on there. Maybe we go like, and I'm going to put my name on here. Um, so, I've, so I've got my name loaded in here. Um, I might say this took me, I don't know, who knows? Maybe this took me 30 well, I mean, if we're being realistic, I guess this one will say this took us two minutes to do. Uh, so anyway, so you, you have different things. You might throw a date on here. So date, you know, those kinds of things. So there's all those little pieces in there, right? Well, let's say you didn't want to put all this in here. You didn't want to do those every single time. Okay. So instead, what you can do is I could use a single forward slash and then the asterisk key, which I hate that word. I can never say it right. So um I'll just say star probably most of the time. Notice how my code block just changed and all of it changed to the commenting color. All right. So in our visualizer here, uh, green means comment, at least this section here. And so we've got uh, all of a sudden now this is all a comment. So I said I want every line by using this little piece right here. I want every line after the, everything after this, all lines, everything to be a comment. And I want the compiler to ignore it. Well, that's great. I mean, I don't actually want the whole piece there. Um, but let's say I, I want, you know, I, it thinks that's what I want. All right. So I'm going to come down here and end this. This kind of bothers me. I don't know. I'm going to take this down to the next line because it's kind of annoying me. Oops. And then I'm going to go ahead and come over here and now I'm going to close this out. So now you do the reverse. You say star first, then the slash. And you notice how things sort of go back to normal down here. So now we've got our, uh, reserve words. We've got all this stuff. It, it, just, it looks different. If you're in, if you're Typing in a text editor, um, just, a, I mean, strict, I don't know, text editor that doesn't do uh, color coding that may not show up, but this is, this is how this will work. So now all of these lines are commented out. So I can type anything I want. If I include something else in here, it'll just keep commenting out all the way down because it's inside this piece. Um, and you say, why would I use this? Well, this is a great way of blocking out uh, a section of code that you know works. So later on, at least that's, that's, the way I use it, right? So um, let's say you have a program that has, um, you know, we'll just say 100 lines, right? And you know that a certain section of the code works totally fine. You've been testing it, you know it's working fine, but you're, you're looking for an error, you can't find the error, you don't know what's going on, but you know like this certain block of code works. So a lot of times what you can do is just comment out a section, comment out a section, maybe you comment out an entire function, uh, and you, you, because you know that works, you don't want to waste time with it, you just want to get to, okay, what is the problem here? What is going on? Uh, uh, and so, or or you may have an error, and maybe you comment out an error just to see if, uh, you know, the rest of the code is functioning fine. And then you're like, okay, now I can focus on just this portion that's that's having a problem. And maybe it's related to another portion that's working fine until you activate that section, or maybe not. But anyway, that's just it's just a, a great way for you to be able to code things out and play with them along the way. All right, so. Um, we'll we'll use that quite a bit. All right, so I would say actually at the top of my programs though, I. I don't know, I, I seem to just do this most of the time, just at the top. Okay, the other way to, to uh, put comments in uh, is to add them after a line right here. Okay, so if I'm coming in here and let's say I wanted to put uh, something about hello there. Let's say, this, I mean, if maybe this was a variable and I've defined a variable and I'm using a variable and um, I want to, I use an abbreviation. But now I want to say like what the variable is. So you can put two forward slashes and type in anything you want. Oops, uh, that you want. Oh, actually, since I put the semicolon in there, let me uh, show you this real quick too. So you notice how that's fine. This would execute. It'd be great. No big deal. Uh, but make sure you do it after the semicolon. If I put this semicolon, if I delete that, and I put the semicolon out here at the end, uh, this is going to think now, that the compiler thinks that this is all because these slashes here this is all now a comment everything even a space here whatever you might put so this is now comment so be very careful about that you want to do it after so i'm going to go ahead and just put a semicolon there and close that out all right so that's just a commenting piece so there's a couple this is one way of doing it um i would say for the most part uh just because you know a lot of times your output statements or different things that you're doing are, are long uh, as far as the the lines go uh a lot of times what will happen is instead of putting it at the end, unless you can fit it in, it's really easy, no big deal. A lot of times what will happen is you'll throw it in up here right above and then say, hey, this follows, you know, hey, this is blah, 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 blah. And then you've got it right below. So maybe you've got a, a section that's testing for something and you are and you put up here like what it's doing. Uh, so those are, uh, those are just some different things you might see there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click uh, visualize just so we can see kind of how it works. 
and we're going to jump in. It takes it a few seconds, but uh, as soon as we get in here. Uh, so here we here we have our, our piece of code. Let me scroll up real quick. There we go. Perfect. So here's our print output over here. You can make this bigger if you want. Uh, now, later on, we'll see all sorts of things over here as we're doing uh, different I don't know, setting variables or, you know, even when you declare them and set them, you'll see uh, you'll see how that works and it shows you exactly what's going on. But for now, uh, as we're coming down here, the next line to execute is red. So it knows like the, it is already, it's like, oh, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. And this is it, right? So I'm going to click forward. And as I click forward, you see it prints a line there. We come down here. That's the line that just ran. This is the next line to run that just basically is ending the program because it's returning zero. So if I hit forward, that's basically it. And then I'm done. So and uh, and that's it for that particular one. All right. So anyway, I'm going to go back to edit real quick. And as we try and go back. There we go. Okay. Uh, and as we are uh, looking at this just one more time, you can kind of see just a quick overview of how these things work uh, and sort of what we'll see as we're as we're doing the code. Um, so again, just an overview. I know this is a little bit lengthy video, but just a, just an overview for now. So um, so that's it.